center field deep. Going back is P.A. Looking up. See ya. A two-run walk-off home run for Nick Swisher. And the Yankees win the game. Three to two. So with one swing, Nick Swisher erases all of the ills of a Wednesday in New York, snaps a three-game losing streak, and will send the Yankees on their road trip with a victory. And that is Swisher's third career walk-off home run. You have to stick around for the post-game show to find out who's today's Chevy player of the game. And the Orioles oh so close to sweeping the Yankees in unlikely fashion. But Nick Swisher had other ideas. He came into the game 0 for his last 14. But he picks up two hits, none bigger than that opposite field home run. And now on the field with him is Kimberly Jones. Kim? Michael, he just said, wow, with one swing of the bat, you changed the complexion of this whole homestand. You know that? Pitch, one ball and one strike. Here it comes. And he swings and lifts a high fly ball to deep left field. That one is out of here. Back to back ball games. Walk off grand slam, and the Angels come away with the victory as Eckstein has done it two games in a row. Back to back games with grand slams. As David Eckstein took a pitch from Pedro Borbon with the bases loaded, a fastball. And he pulled it out of here to left field. That one got out by more than the one he hit last night, which barely made it. His second home run of the year, and they're both grand slams. Dan Heron, numbers delivered by the UPS store. Not used to seeing him at 4.83, but the good news is, as we spoke about in the open, we're seeing that ERA come down. The numbers are improving. Over the top, split fingered fastball. Well, according to Edwin. Well, according to me, too. That one swung right through. So you bet it's good. About 150 points above league average. Cut fastball. Waved upon and missed. And like his brother, Molina doesn't strike out a ton, a little bit more than Benji. 25 and a third innings. Breaking ball. Dan wheels and deals. Curve ball. Got it. Not used to seeing this from Albert Pujols. On 0 and 2. Strike three over the outside corner. Got him with a cut fastball. Stavanoa disappears as he waves over that cut fastball. Over the top of a wicked split fingered fastball. And I think that's the end of the night for Dan Heron. And once again, my friend, a job well done. So they're looking for their second series win. Toronto back to 500, 6 and 6. 3 2 delivery, and oh my gosh, way back in right field. Marquegas refuses to turn around. Goodbye, home run. Out on Utah Street. What a shot by Rasmus. So he gets one last night to send it into extra innings and comes back in this game and gives him a 1 0 lead. And two extremes as far as the, where the pitches were. The one off Hunter at 97 miles per hour was up over his head. Probably about uh, chin high. And this one is about right where you want it. Thigh high, inside middle, and the ball is just crushed. He's got three home runs on the season now and three RBIs. Wow. Night just like they did 
number 99 in their respective careers, guys. And B.J. Upton's going to lead off the bottom half of the fourth inning. It's a long drive deep to center. Jones back, and that ball is out of here. Well, no sooner does Justin Upton hit one out than B.J. Upton hits one out. Hit the catwalk up there. And B.J. Upton with his 10th home run of the year. That's number 100 of his career. The Rays lead 1-0. I think Todd Callis just Gatorated himself. How about that for timing? Yeah. There he is. <laughs> wow. Let the spraying begin. Yes. Early and often. Wow, that. Into center field for Dave Roberts. Eric Gagne stays perfect. Well, the Padres gave him a couple of sweat moments there with two runners aboard. But Gagne records the save. His 55th of the year as he continues his assault on Bobby Thigpen's all time record. And the Dodgers win tonight. A like score as last night's victory 2 to 1 Los Angeles. Two seasons ago has the lead at first base and DeRosa hits a fly ball down the right field line and Ethier will see it it's a home run. Andre Ethier watches it just go fair into the bleachers and Mark DeRosa two run homer gives the Cubs the early lead. DeRosa hit 21 in the regular season and high fives all around in the Cub dugout. Take a look at a replay of the home run. You see that ball's elevated. And DeRosa gets through it okay. I mean, he didn't really crush this ball, but he squared it up nicely and got it up in the air and got it into the wind, and it carried out of here. Here comes a 3-2 pitch on the way. Fly ball, right field, gone. Way back, Gibbons looking up. Three-run homer into the flank court area. My goodness. Number 13 for Hinsky. And the Blue Jays now lead this one 3-1. Joe, they had a scramble for Utah Street on that one. There's that open gate, and I think it split the two stanchions that hold the gate, and uh, folks out there on Utah Street chased down that souvenir. Well, as soon as Hinsky hit that ball, <laughs> it just sounded like it was long gone, and it was. No score as we go to the 10th inning tonight. Heath Bell will take over for Trevor Hoffman. Eight scoreless by Jake Peavy. Trevor worked in order in his ninth and now Bell in the tenth. Hop hits it on the ground for Iguchi. You know I think it's valid when you look at that ERA that 6.69 relief ERA that Barnes chases the high gas. Radar says 95 miles an hour. Heath Bell strikes out a pair in an all business one two three top of the tenth. Billboard sends a drive out to that cavernous right center field for Giles one away. Pitch to Tulowitzki. Bounce to second base. We don't need to worry about the stolen base story at all here. Score it four to six to three. Another shot at a walk off when we go to the bottom of the 11th. Still scoreless. Stairs rips one into the night. Deep into right. Way here and Philadelphia gets a pinch hit two run shot and the Phillies lead seven to five in the eighth. Added to this team by Pat Gillick from the Toronto Blue Jays and he hits the first home run off Broxton. 
on the mound tonight for the Rockies. It's Ubaldo Jimenez. And boy, can he throw hard. A great arm. One of the hardest throwers in all of baseball. He might touch 100 miles an hour tonight. But he's got two runs off of him in six innings. Comes back to strike out Rollins to begin the night. The 2 2 to Pat Burrell. Breaking ball for strike three. Second strikeout for Jimenez. Two down in the first. Got him. The payoff pitch. Strike three call. Howard down again by way of the K. The ones that he's disputed the most, the two to end the game one, the one into game two, and this one all sliders. This one a backdoor variety. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts for Jimenez. He's retired 10 in a row. Three and a half done. No score from Coors Field. And this Rockies crowd will let Ubaldo Jimenez what they think of him as he heads off here. Great effort. And there's a drive pulled down toward the foul pole. If it's fair, the Angels win. The Angels win it on a grand slam walk off home run by Torrey Hunter. Wow, we called that one there, Roy. The streak is alive now at 162. What a thing of beauty. The grand slam walk off piece for Torrey Hunter. Welcome to Anaheim, Torrey Hunter. Tremendous shot. Boy, that was an unexpected comeback. The Angels had one out and nobody on base. They get two walks and a single, loading the bases for Torrey Hunter. It looked like he had won it in the eighth. He does win it in the ninth. <laughs> well, how big is that smile going to be now for Torrey Hunter? That's an amazing comeback. When you think about what happened in the top of the ninth inning, Torrey Hunter showing his appreciation to the fans. Watch is that to left field right down inside the foul pole Victor Martinez looking hey I did my job the Torrey Hunter just did a little better job with that four run shot we talked about these two teams and how they both were playoff teams last year and they battled here tonight and if all you saw was the ninth inning tonight well that was pretty good seven runs total in the ninth inning three in the top of the ninth for the Indians four in the bottom of the ninth for the Angels. Crowd of 28,935 on their feet now. A couple of Hall of Famers going head to head. There's a drive. Deep right field. Going back, Swisher. Each your own has beaten Marietta Rivera with a two run. A couple of the calls by Dana Sogna, the plate umpire. Now Bond swings and he drives one deep into left center field. Way back goes Peyton to the warning track, to the wall, and that ball is gone. Barry Bonds hitting a titanic home run to left center field to the right of the 396 marker and out of the yard his 11th home run number 578 lifetime and what a shot that was his first home run and first hit of this series Bond gets to the plate points his hands to the skies and then back to the dugout greeted by his teammates so the Giants are on the board it is three to one New York Cano the tying run leads off third Cabrera the go ahead run leads off first the 2 0 -oh. swung on and hit in the air to deep right that ball is high it is far it is gone positively demonic Johnny Damon hoist 
a high flow fly ball to deep right and into the right field seats. It is a three-run Johnny Damon Dinger, and the Yankees have taken a 5-3 lead. And how many times have we seen that swing by Johnny Damon? And there is Bedlam in the Yankee dugout right now and in the stands. We saw that swing from Johnny Damon in an Oakland uniform, in a Red Sox uniform, and now in a Yankee uniform for the past couple of years. And the star of this game tonight, right now, with four RBIs and three hits, is Johnny Damon. A long high fly. That got in the seats, a three-run home run. The Yankees take a 5-3 lead on a fabulous rally by the Yanks. Grounded out in the fourth. And Hardy hammers that one deep left center field. That is way back there. And J.J. Hardy adds one for the over. Nine homers in the regular season, a number that was a little off what he normally knocks out of the ballpark, but he got one right down the middle of the plate there and didn't miss it. Start saying nice things about Scherzer, and then you get a big insurance run. Huge run. The 1 1 delivery to JJ. Fly ball, well hit the left center field. It's way back. It's going, going, and gone! Into the Open, J.J. Hardy, who did not homer during the month of September. Well, here in October gives the Orioles a 4-2 lead in the bottom of the seventh inning. J.J. Hardy, who hit only nine home runs during the course of the year, a guy that normally hits 20 or more. Hardy hitting his second career home run against Scherzer. Wong is ready. The pitch on Cabrera. He lines one in the gap in left center field. The Bannon scores. Finley scores. And Cabrera bangs in two. The Angels lead for the first time in the division series. It's now 4-2. Oh, what a clutch hit right there. And he didn't waste any time on it. Orlando Cabrera, who had a huge ALCS against the Yankees last year when he was playing for the Red Sox, haunts them again tonight. Joe Torre is headed out of his dugout, and we will have a pitching change. Lighter will be coming in to face Garrett Anderson. A break in the action here in the bottom of the seventh inning. It's the Angels for the Yankees, too. We'll be back with more Angels baseball in a moment on the Angels Baseball Network. With two down, the pitch to Jermaine. Swing and a long one to left. This is his 40th, and it's going over the monster seats onto the street. That's how far that one went. A two-run homer. Sox lead 7-1. And that was a bomb for Jermaine Dye. He has left the building for sure. Over the seats, just above the green monster. There are about four rows of seats with tables. And it went over everyone's head onto the street. Jermaine Dye, he is coming to a very special club. 40 home runs for the White Sox. Not very many players in franchise history have done that. How far did that fly? That flew a block at least. And Ortiz to right field. Nothing is going to keep this down. And David Ortiz puts the Red Sox in front. He's crafting a fabulous postseason resume. His 10th career postseason home run. Ramirez drives one, and the Red Sox go back to back, two nothing. It's a rocket. Higgins took one look, he took one step, and that's about all he could do. Sure. Oh, did he get that one? Way back in left field, Jay Payton at the wall, looking up, and goodbye home run. Nick Swisher delivers the long ball, a two RBI dinger. His third home run of the year, RBI's seven and eight.
and a 2-0 Oakland lead. Yeah, straight changeup, and it just kind of floats in there, and boy, he's all over it. It's like hitting the jackpot in Las Vegas. Eyes light up, bat gets quicker. I mean, watch how quickly the bat head gets to the ball, yep. and then the, the one obvious oh, mistake. He and, got that one, yep. Swisher deep to right field, way back, and gone. Goodbye, home run is second of the game. Yep, the uh, change up off of Bedard, fastball drilled to left center. So 35 home runs last year. This guy comes up to the plate to put a charge into the ball and does it again. Matt Garza trying to make raised history in baseball history. The 1-1. One, one. Santiago into fly ball to right. He's going to get it. Zobras makes the catch, and this game is over. Matt Garza has faced 27 hitters and has thrown a no-hitter. The first no-hitter in Rays history, and he is mobbed behind the mound. A 5 nothing final. First no-hitter in Rays history thrown tonight by Matt seen enough against them the last two years it was time and this was Matt's night and he established that early from pitch one Garza being hugged by Crawford and Pena congratulated by all of his teammates one at a time and a great moment here to begin this most important homestand for the Rays and Garza does it in great style. He faced only 27 hitters. Only one man reached, and that was a one-out second-inning walk drawn by Brennan Bosch, and he was erased on a double play off the bat of Ryan Rayburn. On a good play by Longoria, and around the horn double play. Hugged by Bartlett. And, and, and I, I, I'll tell you who else is happy about this as a catcher you feel it too you want it especially when you get to that ninth inning you want it just as bad sometimes as the pitcher so nice job by Kelly shopping really worked him well set up well and really went north and south with the fastball and calling some pitches up in his own and giving him a good target with that and here's the final out Santiago hitting the fly ball and the Short right, Zobras had it all the way, and the celebration begins as the Rays see Matt Garza throw a no hitter, the first in Rays history. For Garza, his 11th win of the year, he came close in 08 when he faced just 28 hitters and gave up one hit to the Florida Marlins. Hanley Ramirez hit a home run that day as Garza struck out 10 and walked one. Tonight, he walks only one, faces only 27, strikes out six.